Alright, I'm back. Um, this time it's not going to be about um, actually showing you how to make the propellant, so if you'd like to see that, then you'd uh, go back to one of my previous two videos. Um, but this time what I'm doing is I'm characterizing my propellant to make it, it most efficient and to um, increase the brilliance of the flame. Um, so this time I've given up the idea of a flowable propellant so now I'm increasing the solids loading from 79% last time to this time 82%. Uh, hopefully it won't make the mixture too dry for packing, but I do think that it'll be fine. But this this um, session is going to be solely for gathering information. Uh, there will be a nice burn at the end just to observe it and to take notations, but uh, mostly this is just going to be for figuring things out about my propellant. One of the properties I'm going to be measuring uh, for this video is the density of my propellant. And so the way to find the density is I have to find the volume and then I have to find the weight. And uh, I need to know the precise weight of the propellant that's going to be cast. And so to find that I need to um, subtract the, the weight of the casting tube from the weight of the tube and the propellant when it's finished. Um, you may say, oh dude, but it's going to be 100 grams anyway, why are you measuring the weight of this? Well, you know, I'm going to lose a couple grams during the processing, so I need to make sure that it's, I'm exact. So I'm going to weigh this, weigh the casing tube so I can subtract that at the end. That is perfect. 20 grams on the button. I do want to show you the mix right before mixing. Uh, this one's a lot less fluid as the last one, and you know what? I'm fine with that because I'm also I'm still happy with the consistency of this. It's still clay-ish. It uh, compacts the same characteristics as clay. One thing I need to make watch out for on this one is bubbles. That's one problem. Okay, I'm just having a little fun with my propellant. It's just going to be a little test to make sure that it burns. <laughs> sure, it will. Uh, so I just put about two to three grams into the bottom of a cutoff CO2 cartridge from Airsoft, put it in the ground right here in front of me, put a fuse in it. Uh, we're gonna, just going to burn it for fun. Still safe. Okay, that's pretty evident of its uh, success. Uh, that didn't really even have a core, so it just tells you how good that was. You could tell that there was still a little bit of sparking, minor sparking. If you go back to my past vids, you'll find out uh, that I was worried about my sparking while using uh, coarser aluminum in my experimentation. And um, so I just saw sparking just then, and I wasn't very happy about it. But I got to thinking about it, and you know, uh, that sparking is most likely going to be eliminated in a uh, rocket motor where there's so much pressure that this stuff's going to be consumed within a matter of milliseconds. And uh, so that sparking right there, even though it's doing it in this pressure, which is one atmosphere, in uh, at a thousand psi in a rocket motor, that's going to be consumed very quickly. Okay, I calculated the density of the slug of propellant and it comes out to be 1.4331 grams per centimeter cubed. I looked at a, a theoretical density for a propellant made with PVA and resin. That ended up to be uh, 0.58 um, pounds per square inch, I mean per cubed inch. And so I decided to do the calculation for mine and I got 0.53 pounds per cubed inch. So that's the density of mine. So if you look at that, that's really close. That means I'm doing things right, which is good. Um, so that's it. I'm very proud of it. It looks awesome. Now we're going to do a couple of uh, tests by cutting it up and seeing if it's, uh, if it's good. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
we will be uh, burning about 66 grams of propellant. That's uh, more, the most I've ever done, so we're going to be a little more cautious this time, a little longer fuse, you know. All right, well, start we're, it. All right, this we're, is we're, 66 grams of propellant, the most I've ever done, of my good characterized propellant. Ready? Bravo. I apologize for the unclarity there, but uh, that propellant burned just the same as all the others, uh, but better. So if you thought it would accidentally, you know, Kato'd or something, no, it's just because it was blurry, a lot of smoke. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about that one. That was a good, good burn, and I'm, I'm ready to start taking it into account with the motor design and all that good stuff. <laughs>